Governor Hickenlooper is not ruling out calling a special session. If one measure on the ballot passes, I'm Britt Marino. Thank you for joining us. Let's go out to our political specialist, Sean Boyd, who talked with the governor this morning, and she is live in the newsroom. And, Sean, we are talking about the anti-fracking ballot measure. Yeah, Britt may be the most controversial measure on the ballot. Unless the legislature delays implementation of it, it takes effect immediately upon the governor certifying the election. He has 30 days to do so. Proposition 112 would require a half-mile buffer between new oil and gas drilling and homes, schools, or any area government deems vulnerable, which isn't defined. The state oil and gas conservation commission says it would ban fracking in most parts of the state. The governor told me He's already reached out to both sides and will sit down with them and the new governor before calling a special session. These initiatives are often bare bones, right? They don't go on to 40 pages of what happens in this case or that case. You, you want to minimize the unintended uh, collateral damage. I mean, it's a big part of the state's economy, right? You're talking, I mean, 15 percent. Some people say as much as 20 percent of the state's economy and suddenly it goes to half. That, that is how you spell recession. I asked both gubernatorial candidates, Republican Walker Stapleton and Democrat Jared Polis, if they would support a special session. Stapleton says yes, Polis no. I also talked to the governor about Democrats potentially controlling all levers of state government, his seat in both chambers of the legislature after this election. He told me even if they do win up and down the ballot, Colorado is still a purple state. Much of this election, he says, is a referendum on the president. Brett. Sean Boyd, live for us in the newsroom. Thank you so much, Sean. More than